Yes. Okay, here we go. So focus on what you want to manifest, releasing fears and insecurities to the universe for transmutation. Pause before speaking to prevent projecting anger and fear during this Mars retrograde. Get organized and declutter. Even focusing on one area at home will shift the energy in a positive way. Take care of your physical body. Restarting that workout routine. I definitely have been in that vibe for sure. I'm like <laughs> making conscious, healthy food choices and positive body image affirmations. Great time to set goals around money, budgets, accounting, debt payoff goals, signs most effective, Virgo, Capricorn, Tur Taurus, which I know you're a Virgo. <laughs> <laughs> write down yeah. your wishes and goals and keep the paper under your pillow with a piece of selenite or a venture on until the full moon blessings yes i receive those blessings so um i've definitely resonated with that you know and i just think even just this year you know the overall vibe like it's just so much pressure it's like you're going to choose and that you have to choose now do i want to be cold after this do i want to just be cold or do i want to be a diamond you know, mm. because um, we've all already had pressures of where we've been operating and doubt, lack, um, d n you know, not real belief, uh, you know, lackluster faith, because I believe you have to move in your purpose. You have to move in an alignment with the question I, I, I posed on the last meditation, which was, if you had no limitations, what would you be? what would you do? And when you answer that, that's the happy, right? So obviously when uh -huh. you don't chase the happy and you chase the whatever we've been programmed to believe is the way, you know, you're chasing a vision that is not yours, right? But if you leap to that thing you said, which was, uh, I want to be a herbalist, hands down. That, uh -huh. There were like seven exclamation marks. I was like, see, right? But then you don't do it because you're too practical and you're believing in the program of, this is the only way the program could work and you must go this way on top of you feeling limited by your circumstance at hand, just period, right? That's step one for you. Right. So, um, you know, I just believe this is a time to really, you have to, we all have to stand firm and I am a creator. Right. Right. I'm not going to succeed despite my circumstance i'm going to succeed in spite of them you know because i believe we ha we have to live on purpose when you follow the first thing that made you happy now you're in a vibe right all right uh -huh. you caught the wave you're on the frequency the vibration of higher it can only go higher from there because you picked the first thing that came to your mind right the first thing that made you really happy and that's the first step it's like michael jackson which I haven't talked about that analogy in a minute, but Michael Jackson in his video, um, Billy Jean, right? When the when the floor is lighting up, right? It's like you you that master, but because we are duped out of it, overwhelmed by circumstance, overwhelmed by COVID, overwhelmed by the election, overwhelmed by um, food shortages, bombings, uh, we're in revelations, like period. Okay, <laughs> just keep going on. let's just sum that up so I can just right. So. I believe I had a vision even for myself where I saw myself doing very well. And I said, I received that. Uh -huh. I received that because it is not true that I have to suffer. Right. It is not true that I have to live in lack. We subscribe to it. When we realize it's a subscription, you know, we'll pay more attention to um, what we're thinking, what we're doing. Are we taking steps towards that thing that made us happy? Because if you're not, you're just going to keep getting more of what's unhappy for you, what's undesirable, what's a life you don't like, which you just complain, right? And then we know how that goes. So will effect. Now you're in victim mode. When you're in victim mode, you're drowning. No one can help right. you. And it's like you're drowning, but you're five feet tall in a three, three, three foot deep pool. You know what I'm saying? It's like, mm -hmm. I do. you know, so that's the experience of life. That's the experience of being indulged in this physical thing that we forget. I am a spirit having a human experience. 
Right. I, for me, I try to go back to that as much as I can to make me feel fearless, to make me feel faithful, to make me feel, because I'm like, all right, woo, it'd be so much. I'm like, damn, there's certain shit I can't even talk to people about because I feel like it's just so triggering for people and people mm. aren't really looking on that level that it's like, all right, I didn't just... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It was, you know, so... I believe this is a season of you have to make those moves and you have to start believing and you have to start pursuing that thing that lights you up because I believe that's the only thing that keeps you above obviously the experience of life right there's the experience that I feel like is that water and that's the physical experience and your body's in it and you feel it and you're wet and you're like I'm drowning it's so much and I really feel it it's water like I it's real you know it's really real it's it's water. I feel it on my legs. And when I get out and be dripping because it's wet, like, you know, it's real. And it's like, your spiritual self is that other part of you that's not in the water. That's like, sis, you're fine. Like, uh -huh. It's just the experience of feeling wet. Like, so I think it's really important to hold you accountable. Thus, yesterday's question. Yes. What can I hold you accountable for? Because, you know, I believe in so many ways. First, we, and it sounds so big, but it is for people who understand it. It's like when you have a calling, I don't care what it is. It don't matter. It's, it has to do with yarn. When you have a calling, the people that you'll touch because of your calling, like that, that for me is step one right uh -huh. then step two is then it comes full circle as you get older and then you're old and you don't have energy right you don't have equity you don't have things you should have had because you were working towards those things when you were younger so it's like you know now you have regret so it's like you must do the things it's not optional and you must believe i am a creator I do not succeed despite my circumstance. I succeed in spite of, like even me having four kids, I'm like, no, I'm not gonna sit and feel overwhelmed and feel like, oh my God, I just can't, this is so much. Cause it feels like that sometimes. Mm -hmm. For sure. You know? For sure. But at the end of the day, I have a purpose, I have a passion, I know why I'm here and I try to stay in the, in the vibe that I'm a spirit, so I'm a spirit, I can create anything that I want. And some of the things I see may feel a certain way, but I have the power. I have the dominion, you know. So I'm going to have a beautiful meditation. But I did want to know. Let me see. I don't even think I brought my notebook in here tonight. Which is what can Ab hold me accountable for? Hold on. Let me just make sure that this, this thing is going to stay. Because Zoom, my phone don't like Zoom. So everybody else watching this also on the playback, write what you could be held accountable to because, you know, I believe, you know, just even having this group and meditation, it's like what meditation is helping us do is step into that space of ease, calm, and flow. When you're in ease, calm, and flow, you could think straight, right? When you're in fight or flight, right? Imagine someone's chasing you and while they're chasing you like someone's simultaneously trying to give you a hug like love and light blessings like it's fine you're gonna be fine like you're gonna be like yo you're gonna push them like bruh we could do that later you know i gotta go um that's the same way our brains are right when we're in fight or flight so um that's the, that's the space we're gonna tap into but yeah i want to know what can i hold you accountable to did you have a chance to think about it or you still need more time I did have a chance to think about it. I'm still like, did you really, really want to tell her that? <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. Because I'm like, man, do I really want to tell you this? Okay. So, I need to write. I need, I need to be held accountable in terms of writing. And I need to... Um, I need to at least post once a week. I can't go from not posting to posting every damn day, obviously. So, no, I'm going to say twice a week. I'm going to say twice a week. 
because then because then I really have to do it because if it's once it's like oh whatever okay so when you say writing what are we talking about mm-hmm. with writing we're Burn talking writing? are you talking about like you about to write a book sometimes when I do write I feel like this goes this is a book this is not this is not like something that you just randomly posting somewhere that's how I feel sometimes um but you know last year I was writing a lot and then I fell off of just writing um I mean I fell off all of it and by February like I was good up until January February is like we're done we're done. Mm-hmm. You know, we're not doing that. And forget about quarantine. Quarantine, I'm like, yo, we're not doing none of this. Maybe maybe here and there, but nah, not really. We're not doing none of that. Well, what else are you doing? Because I know you're not doing nothing. No, um, so I'm taking care of my plants. I have a whole garden. Um, so I'm taking care of my plants. I got my, my, um, and I have my ancestral altar that I like tend to on a daily basis. Um, and I'm not pulling cards the way that I was pulling cards before because I was doing it damn near every day and I'm not doing that. And I'm just like, you need to no. get back to that. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> like, we make spiritual work so difficult, sis. Like, that's why I'm asking you what you need to be held accountable for writing for because you're still doing the things that tend to your soul. Mm-hmm. Like, the thing right. is, you know, it's like, I feel like purpose is like tap in. Purpose takes work. Right. right. Because it's like, I know my purpose. And because it's so large, those days that I'm doubtful, I have to tap into that space of like, all right, get out your feelings. This is large. Just show up and share that thought. Share that mm-hmm write it out even if you only have two likes I mean like I've grown to where I'm at I've had many years where I was like two likes three likes like all that for me mm-hmm. you know but social media is like you got to just step back and find your why right because the why is not oh I haven't been writing that's why I'm like all right but I know you and I know you're not the type, you're a spiritual woman so you're not someone that's like well I'm not writing and I'm like you know um, I'm dating these losers and I'm like broke and I'm like broken and sad and not doing nothing right and I'm listening to like Mariah Carey and Watt Holden <laughs> <laughs> so it's like that's a no yes right you, you, so, you know that's it's a like, no yeah break out of the box Right. right. You're right. already doing the things that you need to do to be spiritual. You are tending to your garden. You are doing what makes you feel happy at that time in life. Uh-huh. As we uh-huh. evolve, there's certain practices we'll always have, such as writing, right? But I know you have books within you to tell your story and to tell where you came from and like watching your parents and mental health and you work in mental health. You know what I'm saying? It's like you got to just mm-hmm. start piecing together those things and really get in tune with your why. Your why must I be successful? Why must I believe in myself and just go for it? Because I know the latter. If we're not living in purpose, you're doing something that might, you, you, you figured out how to make it kind of fit for who you're destined to be, but it's not satisfactory. Life's not satisfactory. You know, we have to, um, you know, like, it's like we have to live out loud, even if we don't do the thing and as we're getting there, because I feel like I have so far to go and I'm still, like, you know, pressing, but you have to, we all have to live in purpose, you know, Mm -hmm. I think for you to not see that you are still doing the things that are going to move you forward. Because those things are not moving you backwards. Right, right, right. yes. They're not moving you right. backwards. They're not right. forms of being that are like, 
not creating any type of gain, right? Whether it's more peace for you, whether it's even just feeling proud of yourself. Like I would feel hella proud if I had a garden. I'm sorry, you know, because <laughs> I know like most of the stuff. I remember growing plants with my kids for the last school year and freaking left them on the stove while the stove was something was baking in it and they all died. And like, mm. so. right, right. You know, whatever you get out of that. Writing is writing. And yes, I do believe we need to write. Um, I do believe I've even gotten out of writing. That's why I can attest to you feeling how you feel and also getting myself to the point that it's like, whatever I do that's spiritual to me, I don't always have to stick to this regimen. I just need to make sure I'm being my tip top best. And when I'm not being my tip top best, I need to fucking check myself and tap the fuck in because right. either I want it or I don't. There's no right. difference. Like everybody think, oh, you're lucky. And like, no, confidence is a repeated action over time, over time. So if I've done things and they've been successful and I've done that thing again, and it's been successful. Like I'm just, and I appear to be this confidence person is because I have earned this place of comfort because I've worked my way through all the jitters and the anxieties and whatever by showing up, right? And then you're more confident, like, I already do this and yeah this it's just simple it's just a conversation it's like talking to my friends i have to take everything else out of it it's just like talking to my friends and i right. just talk in that voice and not make it complicated and learn all the marketing i can learn so that i can also make money while doing this you know online right so you know um i would love to see that for you like i would love to see you and i know you are to a degree mm -hmm. um but I feel like there's more for you. And I oh. don't see you writing, like not even just writing, like, oh, I need to journal every day, but like what books do you have inside of you? What can you share that would light you up? You know, and it's like, I feel like at this time of your life, you gotta make a real boss move. Like. This is your time. This is your moment of like, Either you're gonna glow, you're gonna choose to glow, or you're not. Uh -huh. Too afraid. Uh -huh. And it's like yeah. we have nothing to lose. Uh -huh. Why you say it like that? <laughs> Cause I'm like, tell that six year old that. Cause I'm I'm like, man, um, the things that have been coming up for me lately is like vulnerability and and that came up for me like really hard today about like how vulnerable how vulnerable am i willing to be um and and really um like stop being so guarded as a matter of fact <laughs> As a matter of fact, now that we're having this conversation, I'm like, yep, that those were the cards. Those were the cards that I pulled today. It's like, like you got to let your guard down. And and it's okay to be vulnerable and, and stop worrying about that. The what if of whatever it is. Because, yeah. Yeah. And I'm, mm, I'm like, is it really being judged? Is that what it is, really? I mean, to me, it's like, what else? It, maybe it is being judged. I didn't think about, I didn't really think about being judged. It, it, I'm sorry. I don't like it. I don't, I, not that I don't like it. I shouldn't say that. I've been really working at feeling all my feelings as opposed to halting them, which is, um, you know, we've had this conversation before. Like, we, we gonna stop this right in its tracks. And, um, I've been feeling all of my feelings and allowing them to, to just flow whenever, right? And not, um, and it's real work. 
Like, cause my body be like, mm-mm, mm-mm, we not doing that now. And it's like, but this is what's coming. Just let it go. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's work. People don't believe it. It's just, it's real work to, to I think just. I believe uh, it and I think we know it. And I think because we haven't, you know, we took energy very seriously. And this is why I have to become who I have to become in life. Cause I need to show people visually this. You know, if we really understood energy, we were able to look at your energy, like you look at a battery on your phone, like you literally tap into your energy and you're like, all right, where am I at today? All right, this certain uh-huh. thing happened. So like, I see my throat chakra is a little blocked. I should probably go get some blue things to eat. Like, you know, we, we understand the dynamic of why we're here. It's not just like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I eat bacon, egg, and cheese and drink coffee and paint. Like, it's like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. like it's so much more than that so if we're able to visually see it and understand energy we won't resist we won't have Mm -hmm. resistance right there's no resistance to you know oh i feel like i want to cry or i feel angry or i feel like you know what that was wrong i should probably go say sorry and i'm not gonna let my ego and my pride get in my way or whatever it is or like i really want to do that i'm gonna go do that like i feel excited like i'm just gonna be excited i feel like doing i feel like yelling you know Mm -hmm. i feel like laughing i feel like whatever it is and not being so i feel like when we have walls up you know we are prohibiting you're directly prohibiting joy or love to flow through you nothing can flow through you and that's the purpose of being light on this earth is like everything's flowing through us and we become more of an open channel right obviously it's open more open you are you're going to receive more uh-huh. right and not live in the the lack mindset that I can't really see past that you know and it's like as we open it up you're like oh, I can't believe I never like really understood this it's like energy right you cannot hold in emotions you cannot re- like I remember even for me refusing to cry mm. Ooh, that was like weak I definitely remember a point in my life where I was like nah bitch that's how I was so good to myself like yeah, right right like, like get your ass up go do what you gotta do swipe you like dust your soul, shoulders off like you always do and that's cool i think that's turning pain into power that's the that's the shit that i've always talked about for years and then now that i'm about to be 33 my jesus my jesus number i'm mm-hmm. like you know you have to turn pain into peace mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. because then peace is power i'm at yeah. my mind is at peace who do i want to be who do i want to become forget everything that's not forget everything that's happened to me, but you know, I don't know if you were if you were there for that one on IG where I was saying, you know, I give myself permission to. Remember, I was reading it. I give myself. You might have not been there. I was saying no. I was, was something I wrote one day that I was just was like, all right, I was just being led, and I was like, let me grab a notebook and whatever I open it up to, like all the notebooks I've taken notes in, uh-huh. up, whatever's on that page, I'm gonna talk about it. So I open up to one where I was writing, you know, I give myself permission to dot, 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 be great. Or I give my, the first thing I said was I give myself permission to be angry, fearful, like all those resentful, Mm -hmm. um, all those feelings. I give myself permission to feel that way. And then I said, and then I let it go. Mm -hmm. Right. That's what we do, is we hold these things in and we block them. We don't realize everything with us has to do with energy. So the minute you block that, you're keeping it, right? You're not allowing anything, you're not allowing that experience to just flow through you and out, you know? Um, And we become them, right? We become Uh our our little kid self, even your teenage self or your 20 something year old self, wherever you get stuck, in right. maturity, experiences, hurt, pain, right? And you're just stuck and it's not beneficial. It's not beneficial, you know? And we don't, you, you know this, right? That's why chakras are also so important because you then learn the physical ailments that are manifesting because of a certain feeling, because of anger, uh-huh. because of resentment, because of deep sadness. So when we understand that, you know, I feel like we just, we should take it so much more seriously and invest that energy and purpose. Purpose and finding your purpose is the only thing that can, to me, offset, you know, 
feeling lonely, feeling whatever, like, because it's like you, to, to walk in purpose, you have to trust. And in order to trust, you have yeah. to tap in. Right? You have to tap in. It's not about you. It's not, oh, I don't trust myself. But what? Who are you talking to? Like, who do you communicate with that allows you to, like, do you not communicate with your creator? Do you not communicate with that most divine, all-knowing thing that you know exists? Because you can't rely on your understanding. You can't rely on what you think about a situation or what, how far you feel like you could go because of your situations. Right. Can I help you? Good night. I love that was a perfect. That was a this should, that that's a commercial. Q and child, right? <laughs> <laughs> like the news guy who was like pushing his kids out. He was like, "Did you see that one?" <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, no, "Man, you took a little bit." Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, girl! I'm telling you. I would have just looked at them like, "Um, oh, no, you need to get out." <laughs> Like, dude, you push them out. Mine are not little, so you know. Say that again. Like, I said mine are not little, so it's like, what? Why? Why? Why are you talking to me? But they're always gonna be your children, though. Indeed, indeed. One, two, three, four. Let me grab my charger real quick. Excuse me. Okay. Okay. This is a commercial break. Okay. <laughs> Drink your water, your wine, your tea, your shots. All of it. What? Are they serious? Since when? They're bugging. Okay. YouTube is so funny. Because they'll literally. For some, it means back to. Like, you know, you get flagged if you use someone's music, but it's like. Mm. I don't know. I feel like the whole copyright trademark type of thing is just so. It's just like so grisly because I feel like. I don't know. I feel like unless somebody like steals your exact same thing and does the exact same thing. If I use your music, it's something like someone sharing my quotes or whatever. I feel like I wouldn't, you shouldn't charge that next person. So it's like, mm -hmm. if I'm using somebody's music, there'll be a copyright claim on the video. And then any money made from the video on my end would go to them because I'm using right. music. But like this meeting, I'm talking predominantly for most of the meeting. The meditation is going to be like 10 minutes right, for an hour, hour time frame of a video, right? So it's like, uh -huh. because of the laws and because of the way it's set up, you know, and the way they do, I don't know if it's like legal laws. I don't know if, you know, they make shit up. Mm. Make shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's all just a facade, everything. But, um, right. yeah, that's so funny, so... We'll see if this one dings me. Commercial break. I will be right back.
I just want to thank you so much for being part of the Patreon community. I look forward to future growth. And I really pray that these meditations like and these chats like really make you move on your vision. Mm-hmm. It is time. It is time. Did you enjoy your birthday? You had a good birthday? Yeah, I worked most of the day, so you know. It was good though. I was like, I'm so mad she didn't send me it was her birthday, but I'm like, I gave her a gift like the day before that's so cool. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. cool. I wish I would have really known because I would have threw a couple extra things in the egg girl. <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. All right, so at the end of this, I'll do a card pull. Okay. My kaleidoscope deck. Oh my gosh. I was going to try and buy buy a deck and then I didn't re- I remembered this evening that she has had them and they're all sold out. No, she has new ones though that are coming. This is coming. I know. And it's yeah. Like black ones, but any of her decks are good. Any of her decks, even if you get her other mm-hmm. decks, I feel like one was like a love deck and I, or like and that was when I just like didn't I read it and I was like I don't really know. But then Shade had them. And yeah, like, they're a good deck. It's a good deck. Any okay. deck you get from her will be really good. Okay. I like her decks, and I like that the people are melanin. That's like my favorite part. Mm-hmm. Very pretty, very well made. Black girl magic. So yeah. Yes. All right, so we're gonna get ready to meditate. I'm gonna focus on what the um, previous slide said with the, you know, what we're focusing on. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and just really get rooted. I feel like all 2020 and really beyond is going to be focused on the lower chakras, right? Because if you disrupt someone's root chakra and you don't feel safe, guided, and supported, you cannot move on your vision because the vision is in the crown, right? That's right. your activation. That's your, like, I am, right? Um, but if your root is tore up, Ain't that the truth? That's gonna be tough. So we're gonna focus on a lot of root today and just really tapping into that. So yeah, again, thank you so much for joining me here. Thank you. When my rider dies. I'm happy I could serve y'all mm-hmm. in that way. Yeah, I'm actually going to share this with everyone. So for all y'all watching that are like non-believers yet, just get ready for this meditation. Or maybe you have meditated with me before, but listen, seriously, join this community. Join this community so you guys can be on these calls. We can talk to these. Like, this is like free healing. We heal each other by showing up. We heal each other by even just talking about it, like having these conversations, you know. Raising vibrations. I will not lose. I will not. I think about that all the time. Like, I did not come to this earth to suffer. And by any means necessary, like what I see, it must come to pass. It must. It must. So, yes, we're going to have an amazing meditation today. Are you ready? You're going to put in your headphones? I don't know where my headphones are. I was trying to find them before I got on the call, and I'm like, I don't know where I put them. No, that's cool. It's okay. God didn't want you to have your headphones. (laughs) Apparently not, because I had them today. All right, so am I, is the music too low, or? Nope, the music is fine. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna have you close your eyes. We 
we're just gonna take a really deep breath in through our nose, out through your mouth. Just allow yourself permission to make that sound of relief. You wanna do that again, in through your nose, out through your mouth. One more time, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Just gonna tap into the frequency of ease, calm, and flow being our natural state. I want you to see a white light at the bottom of your toes, warming you, grounding you in your faith your foundation and the bravery and the courage to stand in the truth of who you are. I want you to see this white light moving up your legs, healing every part of your body that it touches. I want you to see it moving up and stopping at the base of your spine, massaging your root chakra, encouraging you to feel safe, guided, and protected. Breathe in through your nose and hold, and breathe out through your mouth. As you hear my voice and you tap deeper and deeper into who you are, the blessing of you being here today, living, breathing with another chance to activate your purpose by standing in your truth and being grounded in who you are. Breathe in through your nose and hold, and breathe out through your mouth. As I say these affirmations, I want you to just confidently agree with me. Acknowledge the truth that is within your soul. Breathe in through your nose and hold, and breathe out through your mouth. Affirm, I trust myself. I love life. I am grateful. I feel safe. I am secured. I am grounded. Breathe in through your nose and hold. And breathe out through your mouth. I am stable. I am loved. I trust life. I am confident. I love my body. I am abundant. Breathe in through your nose and hold. And breathe out through your mouth. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. One more time. Deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And as you affirm, I want you to see this white light that began at your feet 
to travel up through your body, blessing you, igniting the fire within you, opening your heart, healing your heart from all the negative experiences that made you doubt, that made you lack trust, I am confident. I am successful. I am in control. I am protected. I am courageous. I am prosperous in everything that I do. Breathe in through your nose and hold and breathe out through your mouth. I love my life. I am nourished. I am awake. I am wealthy. I am strong. I am stable. Breathe in through your nose and hold. And breathe out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose and hold. And breathe out through your mouth. I just want you to feel grounded. Safe. Guiding, protecting, secure. This is the season to rid our minds of doubt. To wash away negative experiences that are keeping us from being who we came here to be. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And out through your mouth. And in through your nose. Out through your mouth. One more time. Out through your nose. Out through your circumstance to the mind of God, which is in me, around me, and serves me now. Like I almost went to sleep.
Did you have any visions? Did you have any hesitations when I said certain affirmations? No, 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 no hesitations at all. Um, as a matter of fact, um, the, a lot of what you, a lot of the affirmations are, are either like things that I've been listening to or things that I've been saying to myself recently and um, not necessarily something that I've been saying for a long time. Like, and when I say recently, like in the month of September. Do you, have you ever listened to um, The Science of Getting Rich? No, I um, I heard you mention that. I don't remember on, on what. Um, I'm going to post it in the group. I'm going to post the, um, in the, I'll post it on Patreon. Okay. Yeah, that way it's there. But out of all the money manifestation books and manifesting things that I've read, listened to, or whatever, to me, I felt like there were certain things that were said that like checked that part of me that felt like, you know, just like that, that poverty struggle mentality and what that looks mm -hmm. like, what I should be thinking, right? Because life is not so much about, I really shouldn't be thinking about that. It's like, damn, I got to get used to these damn affirmations. So when I hear that thought, I say the affirmation. That's all it's about. So people be like, oh my God, I listen to your affirmations meditation so much. Like when I think something, I like to hear your voice saying it. It's like, yeah, because you're listening to me do your meditation. You know, yeah. so I'm the voice, right? So mm -hmm. That's the purpose of affirmations. So that's cool. I'm definitely going to post that in the group because um, I believe um, a lot of these affirmations, as I was saying them, I was personally thinking like, you know, there's been so many times in my life where a lot of those were very uncomfortable for me. Like I didn't feel mm -hmm. stable. I didn't feel, and I feel even time, even time to time, I don't feel stable, but I feel like that's an illusion in itself, right? Because my version of balance isn't this repetitive thing as I may think it is to it it is to a degree and it isn't but it's more so do I know when to listen do I know how to stay in flow do I know mm -hmm. how to if I do feel off kilter I know how to just come back to center right adjust right. yourself in the moment right when you said that one, you made me think, um, because I started a, a painting back in March, I think it was, um, maybe even February, and I haven't finished it yet. Um, and it's actually um, like a representation of chakras. And one of the, the things, it says unstable. Like there's a lot of, of words because the the um the premise behind it is kind of like getting out of that low that lower level vibration and rising up. Um so like getting out of the negativity and then rising up out of it. So there's a lot of a lot of that in there and and that idea of being unstable. Um especially since my my sister passed because she was um because she was homeless really you know and so that idea of stability has really been on my mind lately how does that make you feel what exactly like your sister Oh man, there's just, there's so much there. Um, it's very mixed. It's very mixed because I have like, um, 
I have this feeling it's crazy. The whole story is like really crazy. Um, but I have this feeling that like she, she chose to not return. Like she had, she was given the opportunity and she's like, nah, I'm, I'm cool. Like I'm done. Mm -hmm. Um, and I believe a lot that, um, like we decided to come here and do the things that, that we're doing because this is what our soul needs to evolve. And um, I feel sad, you know, like that she's not here, but like she's, I feel her, like I feel her. Mm -hmm. um, and I also like, I don't know what she needed what her soul needed to evolve. Like, and who am I to be, to be like, oh my God, like I wish she was here. Of course I wish she was here, but like, yo, her soul had a whole different MO. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I'm just like, I appreciate what I've learned. And when I feel sad, <clears throat> I just feel, I feel whatever it is. And I sent her love, and I and I I moved through it. Um, I feel sad. I feel sad for her son. You know, like I feel sad that he was there and he witnessed that. And you know, like that's what I feel sad about. But I believe like my sister's good. Like she's good. You know. Well, maybe even just transform the energy of just sadness up, up for him to, you know, um, we assume the way people experience situations because we experience it for them through our eyes. Mm -hmm. Right. When you, it's kind of like with kids, when you could say something to them and they're like, well, I feel like you don't love me. And you're like, cause I said that, like, you're right. like okay, well, <laughs> let me take that seriously. Cause maybe to them, that's like, they don't like that, you know, and that's yeah. positive. So, you know, we hear it out, but, um, you know, I think just, I felt that energy. That's why I asked you. Um, mm -hmm. and like you said, moving through it and, um, you know, even for him changing the narrative of how we talk about things and situations and how we feel about people. Cause I feel like when we impress it upon them, we're really impressing it upon ourselves because we hold it. Cause I feel right. energy from you. Right. That's why I asked. Um, yeah. um, you know, and it really is just like you said, focusing on where you know she is, sending him light, sending him blessings, hoping that that moment for him is going to shape into him into being better. Um, you know, because we all take away something from different experiences. Right. And, you know, I feel like when you obviously when you're sad for other people, you're sad in yourself, you know, you're sad within yourself. You carry that. Right especially you're not relatives we just we're all that that in that way we see ourselves more energetically tied so we're more like dealing with it you know so mm -hmm. totally feel that i can't wait for you to see these cards i think they're definitely going to be relevant to you hopefully and anybody else watching this these are relevant to you if they're not if it's on fly let it fly on the hall go right so the first <laughs> one is the chariot <laughs> So this is forward movement, a journey or a move, success, determination, progress, victory, being in control, or delays, recklessness, unclear direction, losing control, and lack of momentum. A red sports car flies through the air at a presumably fast pace, determined to get to where it needs to go. The owner has full control and is using all their firepower to make strides towards their destination. I believe this is a card for a lot of people this year. I feel the pressure of all right, you really want this six-figure, seven-figure life, then work for that shit. And even beyond working for it, believe that it is here and that it is manifesting and that you are blessed and that, you know, you don't have to have anxiety and um, worry and what all the other things fear around these situations. Just trust. Trust, let it go, and stay moving in faith. Is one thing for me that I feel like I have a standard of for myself, which is, all right, 
even if you're afraid and you're fucking just doing mad random shit, but it still makes you happy, just do that shit. Because there's like times I think back to events that I've done or whatever, and I'm like, I wish I never did that event. That's so not me. Or, you know, like, uh, you just kind of, it's kind of like when they were like, don't drink from every cup because that's how you get poisoned. Right. 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 So, like, you know, thinking of that when it comes to like a business and having strategy and all that, obviously that's where the coin is, is in strategy and, you know, getting a system and also building up your reservoir the latest thing that i've been watching and i said this in my stories today i don't know if you got to see it my whole stories today mm-hmm. i was just like on one being silly as hell you, you should probably go see it just for a good laugh <laughs> like decompress real quick because i just felt so silly today so i we were going through like what my kids we were going through all the the facial the facial things on instagram and one of them is like really big eyes and you look like an alien and your mouth is small your nose is big and your voice sounds like an alien and i'm like you know like people are so shallow that like they'll listen to you because you have a pretty face and like your vernacular is good you Mm -hmm. know or you have a lot of followers even if you're not the standard of beauty you have a million followers right right and it doesn't even matter what you're doing even if it's just like raunchy and crazy or whatever whatever Mm-hmm. it's fine and we judge based on that right people and it's like the latest thing I've been seeing is like all these different people who are like scamming people mm-hmm. right or the way or um you know the celebrities did you ever see the documentary on the fire festival no so the fire festival was a festival that was supposedly supposed to be this like ultra rich experience like celebrities would be there you pay for your ticket there's concerts like it's like a five-star experience in this exclusive island like it's just a big party like party on an island with the celebrities think of it like this right they hype it up they pay all these celebrities kylie jenner all these models they take photos and it's like you guys want to be there like fire fest and these are people who are like not really going to be there okay but they're getting paid to be in the commercial um ja Rule was a part of it he was helping promote it as well and it was a scam like people got there it, when you see the footage of it i was like wow like first of all i would have never went not me it's not my type of thing I'm like oh yeah like, okay. well, um they literally had people sleeping in like tents and like porta potties it was crazy so it was just like a big scam but it's like because we're so celebrity driven we care about their lives we care about what they're doing we care about who they fuck you know mm-hmm. they're fucking everything about them what t- mm-hmm. what what where they get their nails done, where they frequent, you know, like we just are like, we find it so important, like, oh, like, and not that we aren't all like that to a degree, but I try to ground myself, like, them niggas is just as normal as me sometimes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. But, um, excuse my French for y'all don't, that don't like niggas I'm working my way out of that. Um, <laughs> but, it's like, to me, it shows that we lack discernment, right? And we are just ego-based and we're number-based. So anyways, case in point, I'm saying all that to say, what was my point? Decompress, go watch the stories. But okay. um, I forgot my point behind all of that. It'll come back. Yes. But yes, first card, this I totally believe this is the potential we have this year. This is the potential to launch us all forward. There's a big shift. People are thinking, being very different than they've ever been in our entire lifetimes. And I think we have to ride the wave as well. The next one is justice. Mm. Legal matters, truth, judgment, objectivity, fairness, balance, justice served. 
or imbalance, bias, legal issues, punishment, misinformed, and assumptions. Lady Justice is fair, but she also challenges you to consider what you believe to be fair, as it can be subjective and clouded in emotion. Her scales are balanced and her swords her sword is lower. She doesn't come aggressively. She comes obje objectively. Um, for me, I see that card as like this year, I think with this, right? In order to be successful, you have to be real with yourself. You have to be accountable. I think we can have motivation and have accountability partners. I think there's a lot of ingredients to what we need to being successful. It's not just like one thing. I think it's a number of things. But like really the word that stuck out to me the most was truth right truth object and objectivity balance right it's like that's things that we all need to be successful and to carry the vision um i don't know how that resonated with you um obviously i feel like with a lot of these cards they're saying like okay these are the possibilities and if you don't do that you will be imbalanced Mm -hmm. you will be biased you'll be misinformed and you'll just be living your life based off of assumptions right and to me that's not really living in power the next one is the three of coins i feel like this whole this whole read is alludes to this year 2021 and beyond like forever and ever beyond that um to just possibilities you know Mm -hmm. I agree with you when you say, you know, how we picked to come here and we, like, we came to do what we, um, we, like, we, our pet, how did you word it? I don't want to miss, miss word what you just said. Um, like you said, we came here and we chose to do. Mm -hmm. Like we chose, we chose what we were going to go through and, you know. I feel like there's multiple paths. I feel like the movie, um, the butterfly effect, where it's like when they change the, a certain part and the past gets altered as well. I feel right. like many different opportunities to go different routes. I feel like it's always like that. I feel like there's many moments in life where things happen to you. May that be someone dies. May that be something happens to you like personally you lose a job you get cheated on like anything that just rocks your socks like you're like oh I'm pregnant like anything that shifts the perspective and I think God gives us these things so that we can stop and then operate in truth you know I think we're just in a period of time of yes we chose this but we also in the choice we have the choice here and it can go either way. And I believe being objective towards it says, okay, even though somebody passed away in this way and this was the circumstance, it's still all good. Mm -hmm. All is still well. All is still well. So three of coins, rewarding work, success, ambition, displaying talents, teaching, getting noticed, opportunity, advancement, work displayed in public or overwork disorganized sub work subpar work incompetence exhaustion unwilling to put in the work and poor planning a teacher displays that his mathematical skills presumably in front of a class he has put a lot of time and effort to be the position he, he's in to be able to display his knowledge and teach others the three of coins is the energy of having confidence in your abilities and the effort to put in your work is clear i mean that speaks for itself mm -hmm. The next was this, which is the Seven of Swords. So obviously this is real obvious. I'm not gonna read the card. Um, like that one's just like dishonesty around you or dishonesty within yourself. So I feel like with this one, you always pay attention to all the other surrounding cards. This would obviously to me signal dishonesty within yourself. Either you're gonna keep living dishonest with yourself and wearing this mask of who you are, portraying who you think you are, Right, and you're just confused. Like you're confused and disoriented, obviously, with this kind of alludes to as well. Overwork, disorganized, subpar work. I'm definitely in a season where I'm like, okay, you know, I'm a creative. So as a creative, um, I just want to create. <laughs> let's just like, <laughs> let somebody else do the other Monday things that I don't like to do as a business. But it's right. like, in general, um, 
like really, really being structured and planning and yeah, leaving room for spont spontaneity, you know, I can't get that word out. Mm -hmm. Be spontaneous, but also um, structured, very structured and disciplined, I believe is yeah. power and being disciplined and being stable in who you are, stable in what you do, stable in your success, stable in manifesting. Like manifesting it to me is proof that you got it, that you figured, you figured out, um, just like it's like cracking the code. Mm hmm. Yeah. So it's time. This is the next one. Again with this card. One of my favorite cards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, this is the Knight of Wands. This is enthusiasm, a passion, passionate offer, manifestation, determination, impulsivity, and blocks list lifted. Or creative blocks, frustration, delays, miscommunication, insincerity, and unreliable. A shadow hand extends a carnelian wand fueled by passion and enthusiastic energy. The knight of wands moves fast, and if things have been slow and stagnant in the past, they now begin to move forward. This is our time. I cannot emphasize that anymore. It's not a cliche. I'm not trying to motivate you into some shit that I don't know, that I don't see. Like, this is the time to get it together all the things you wanted to learn all the things you wanted to do all the things that make you happy they need to start manifesting now in some way some shape some form no more time to overthink everything when you overthink and do nothing you know it's just such a disservice and my thing is like listen if folks if, if if we are okay being unhappy but we're okay with it i feel like just be unhappy <laughs> no seriously you know what i'm saying like just be unhappy right. that's cool right. if that works for you then just right i personally know when i feel unhappy and i don't like that that phase and for me i personally feel like me being unhappy leads to depression leads to um just like a lackluster and i and i and i have finally and now that i haven't seen it before but being able to see like okay when you choose happy happy and you begin to realize i ask so little out of life and that is the problem mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. cool because i really don't believe that i deserve more i really do feel broken i really do feel unvalued i really do feel you know whatever weight and you really think back obviously this is just true for all of us you know it's, it's a moment experience in time that created the belief that now you have to unrewind and say i don't have to adopt that thinking and that thinking is representations is representing that i have an old belief in something that happened to me that developed this way of being and feeling mm -hmm. And because I've been in this way of being and feeling in so long, now this is just like the way that I am. And I think that's so unfair to who we are created to be because we are creators. We are creating. Even if all the time. If you want to be sad, then just be sad. Like just a just accept. If you want to be that person, like like that's like what's his name? Eeyore. Eeyore. <laughs> Eeyore. You are the ER and win the poop. I, if I have to play in that series, I want to be poo. And if I'm not poo, I want to be Tigger. <laughs> uh huh. I want to be Tigger all day. Okay. Oh, there's a balance. I can't be Tigger all day. <laughs> Listen, Tigger can balance on his tail. I want to be Tigger. Sure. That's because you're a Virgo. To all the other Virgos out there, too. That's for you, too. That's because you're <laughs> I'm a Capricorn. We're like, right it's like the meme where they're like a capricorn you know when they're you're like are you coming out and i'm sitting in my house really with my bonnet on like oh probably not <laughs> but like maybe you know maybe and then i'm like knocked out sleeping like nah sis i fell asleep mm -hmm. i'm with you on that one yeah so last card which is so funny because as you were talking first mm -hmm. of all the knight of wands fell out i think two of them fell out but this one, while you were talking, like resonated with what you were saying while you were saying, mm -hmm. I had, that's why I kind of had a little laugh. I was like, huh, that's funny. <clears throat> Endings, finality, 
uh, inevitable change, release, releasing control, being forced to rest, end of an era, taking a break to benefit your health, or dwelling in the past, acceptance, hope, a new era, starting over, picking up the pieces. The countdown has come to a dramatic end by being sliced at the hands of a samurai sword. The il this illustrates a combination of events and struggle that has resulted in this ending. It can still be painful, although you may not, although you might have seen this coming, but surrendering to this change creates space for new possibilities. Which card is that? This is the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords, okay. What a beautiful draw. Because it really just alludes to everything that I just said prior to that. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to work really probably for the rest of the year on root chakra, meditation, sacral chakra. More so, we're going to do heavy, heavy work, but um, sacral, obviously solar because i feel like all those levels are being tested obviously also hearts i feel like when you look at just i think most people desire to be loved and to be in love and i see a crisis in a way of um so many people i believe there's going to be a large number of people in this generation that are going to die without a partner and they do do mm -hmm. one Right. Because we are having a really hard time communicating, connecting, because we don't really know who we are. There's so many other shifts yes. that are happening that are causing our lives to shift, even if we don't want it to shift, which nobody really likes change unless you're into change and changing yourself and you get it. But yeah, this is this is definitely a time of up level. This is definitely a time of like you can either see it as a blessing or you can see it as a curse. Mm -hmm. Either way you choose, it's, it's going to go that way. You know, so that's why I'm like right now at the basic level of it all, besides the purpose work, focusing on believing all is well. Like all is well. I am safe, guided, and supported. Like that's my favorite root chakra and like affirmation period because i feel like when you don't feel stable there's just it's just anything it's like if it's an earthquake you're not gonna fucking go jogging and it's like an earthquake happening let me go jog. right let me just jog this out it'll be over soon no like when your root is shaking and you don't feel safe guided and supported that's the problem here baby like where are you <laughs> right here <laughs> Yes. So um, I hope you enjoyed this meditation. Do you have anything else you want to chat about? I did enjoy this meditation. Thank you very much.